Hey everyone and welcome back. I am TN Eagle. This is episode 14 of our Cardiff City Career Mode. I hope everyone has had a good holiday. Uh, I did in fact enjoy a few days off to spend with some family so I didn't have any uploads. Uh, so thanks for hanging in there and coming back for this one. Uh, we've done a few things. Obviously if you remember last episode we were trying to get uh, ben Yetter and they said no, no thanks. Uh, they didn't want uh, Kenwin Jones at that time or the money that we had offered. So we had to try a different avenue. And from that, it's like okay, you know, maybe I, I could just try to sell Jones on on his own and and take that money and do something for it. But uh, we had gone in and we were in fact trying to get. Uh, ben Yetter again, so we just kind of upped what we had uh, had originally offered for him, and hopefully that would uh, that would do something. But you can see here the injury on uh, Whittingham; he is out with a sprained ankle for four weeks. That seems a little excessive for a sprained ankle, but uh, you know what? What, do you, what can you do? You just kind of keep going. But uh, we do have some updates from our scouts uh, from around the globe that we had sent out, but. Um, really nothing right now. I mean, the, the main thing that we need, I think, is obviously another striker. Uh, and we are shopping Kenwin Jones. So uh, we'll see what we can do with that. And, you know, last episode when we had shopped him as well, he came out and he had a great game. So uh, while we're still kind of shopping him around, hopefully we can do the same thing here. Uh, we did insert Kim in place for Whittingham, obviously with him being injured. And then uh, just going and looking at what else that we had. Uh, I know Gunnarsson, as you see there, CM, he is still hurt as well. So we're kind of stuck right now with what we have. And we have some guys with some fitness that is uh, not exactly the best. But uh, we will uh, jump into the game and, and see what we can do here against Fulham. Uh, and I don't know. Right now, it, to me, I think we're in good shape as far as the league table is concerned. It's just a matter of uh, kind of keeping things going. And uh, we get going pretty early here with a nice pass in. But... Uh, Nicky Maynard with a pretty poor first touch and then uh, gets the ball taken away. But there was a penalty called. And I, I, for the life of me, I have no idea how this was a penalty. And I don't care. It, we'll take it. It goes uh, in our favor, so we will take it. And uh, hopefully we will convert and, and we'll just move on and not talk about it anymore. And Nicky Maynard does indeed step up and knocks it in to give us the 1-0 lead. So... Uh, pretty fortunate, and like I said, I have no idea how that was uh, deemed a penalty, but we'll take it. And then here, just a couple minutes later, we're in the 12th minute. We had a decent opportunity right there. I probably should have went ahead and tried to catch that and, and maybe make a move, but uh, we did not. So, uh, you know, no goal there, but we'll take uh, a 1-0 lead into halftime and, you know, a very early goal, but... Uh, it was a goal nonetheless, and we'll, we'll take it. So here, uh, right at the start of the second half, Kenwin Jones gets away and takes a nice shot, but uh, it was a pretty nice save there by the keeper, and that was with Jones's uh, weak foot with his right foot. He was left-footed, so we couldn't do much there. And then here, we just get obliterated uh, going in, and that one obviously uh, was a foul, and uh, we couldn't do anything with that. So we will now step up, free kick, Nicky Maynard. And it's probably a little too far for him, but I figure maybe I'll just try to throw something in there. Maybe we can get lucky and get a rebound. But uh, the uh, computer blocks it there with the wall, so uh, no go on that. But we'll get a corner from that. And from the corner, we will send it in with Kim. And normally what I like to do in corners, if you've watched any, episode, any of the other episodes, excuse me, uh, I just kind of send it in and get these little shots here, and they normally can go in. That was a pretty good shot from Kim, but he was unable to get that one in. So I'm uh, moving in again to another corner, and uh, we will try to set up kind of the same thing. And a lot of times it just depends on who comes up for you uh, in the short corner, but uh, you can see there we didn't get anything, and I don't know what was up with the editing on that one, but here we're sending it to our main guy, Craig Noon, and he would make a nice pass into Kenwin Jones, and now. Nah. And again, that was his weak foot, his right foot, but still, you got to at least come close to the net there. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's part of the reason why I'm kind of shopping him is just, you know, he's leading the league in goals, but wow, he could have so many more if he could just finish. It's just been brutal, but we do get out of that game uh, with the win over Fulham. It was not a pretty game whatsoever, but... 
no room for explanation in uh, the league table. So uh, you can see there's uh, defensively we did great, uh, holding them to one shot and none on target. And we had quite a few shots of our own. But, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it, right now we're just kind of hanging on and, and seeing what we can do in the transfer window. Not much time left in the transfer window. So obviously we'll want to try to make a move. And you can see that the teams had uh, had offered some uh, a, amount of money for Kenwin Jones around a 2.3 million dollar range, um, and you know I'm kind of holding off because I want to see what happens with uh, with the transfer offer that we had put in for Ben Yetter. So, uh, and also I had what three three different offers for Kenwin Jones, and obviously you know he's he's the league leader in in goals, so. Uh, I would imagine we'll be able to get a little something for him uh, if we so desire. But again, it's just a matter of what comes through uh, with the offer. And, and again, to Toulouse, and uh, they have again turned us down. Uh, so that's what, twice now they've turned us down. So I think we're probably going to need to move in a new direction with this and maybe see what else we can do. But. Um, speaking of which, you can see that we had made an offer for uh, Braithwaite, Braithwaite uh, and that one was also not accepted. And I think probably what we need to do at this point is go ahead and sell Kenwin Jones and use that money to make a, uh, a higher offer for, for some of these guys. So um, I think, depending on which one I'm looking at, uh, that's something that we may be able to do. And I may still have to offer up a player, but uh, it's hard to say. But I'm going to go ahead in and uh, take a look at the, the offers that were given. You can see there, $2.3 million uh, was, uh, was the first offer. And I believe we turned this one down because there was one for, what, $2.5 million, I think. And here uh, they had uh, Newcastle made an offer for Nicky Maynard uh, for $2.2 .2. And, uh, you know, again, I'm like, I have Coney, so I'm like, okay, maybe I can get rid of Maynard. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but here I try to squeak uh, another 100000 out of uh, Newcastle, and hopefully they will go ahead and accept that. But, uh, you know, you never know. And here we had another offer for 2.5 uh, for Kenwin Jones. And, you know, just looking at what his, his, um, his value is, you can see his value is at uh, $2 million. So, I kind of went high with uh, 3.5, and the chief executive comments, you can see, they said 2.9 to 3.5, so we're trying to bump it up and see what we can get there out of him because, like I said, I think once we uh, sell him, we'll be able to use that money to go ahead and get what we want. And you can see here now we have sold uh, Nicky Maynard uh, for 2.3, uh, and that is, you know, we'll take that at this point. And here, uh, Kenwin, they had said it was a little too high, but they did counter with 3.1. Uh, which is obviously higher than the initial offer uh, of 2.3 and higher than the other offer of 2.5. So we are going to accept that. So in one fell swoop, we have just uh, gotten rid of both of our strikers. So uh, we have uh, Kone, obviously, that can, that can go in there. And he's someone I've been subbing in, obviously, uh, kind of our super sub that we use uh, to get some speed out there. But it looks like he is going to have to play now quite a bit. So, uh, you know, now it's like, okay, we need to go get someone. We need, uh, we need one more striker. And, uh, and now we have a, a game here in the FA Cup. So uh, we're going in this a little shorthanded, um, but this is kind of what we're going to have to do. And uh, right now, because they, they still haven't uh, sent the, the two strikers on and Maynard and Jones, we do still have both of them. Uh, so we're going to play them. <laughs> I mean, this is our last game. It's like, okay, you might as well play. Uh, we'll put them out there on the pitch against Crawley Town, and uh, hopefully we can get out of here with the win. But, uh, you know, and I don't want to say the FA Cup is unimportant, but uh, I'm not overly concerned with what we do in the FA Cup. That That is uh, for sure. I mean, I'd like to win it, obviously, but it's not top priority right now. So, uh, but here in the sixth minute, we are going to get things going with a decent opportunity. Uh, Kevin Jones into Kim, and he is able to knock that one in. I just call him Kim. I don't know what it's like, Kim Bu Young, or I don't know. But uh, see, so his kid says Kim. We'll call him Kim. Uh, but that was a pretty nice finish from him, and that will give us a one-nil advantage early in the game in the seventh minute. Uh, but a pr pretty nice pass there in from Kevin Jones, to be fair. And uh, he is able to put that one away. So 
uh, we will take that and then here just a few minutes later in the 12th minute uh, we'll get another nice little breakaway here and this one's Nicky Maynard he is going to cut that one inside and get it blocked I really thought he was going to be able to get that one in but he did not and then here just a few minutes later again Craig Noon I have no idea what that was I had no idea and he's been so solid that was pretty disappointing to see uh, but nonetheless 28th minute we're going to get another opportunity here and it's Kim again but he does get the ball taken away but I just stayed after with Kim as he seemed like the only one able to, to kind of get near the ball and then he throws this pass in there and that was such a nice accurate pass and that was into Nicky Maynard and he was actually able to finish that one off for us to give us a 2-0 advantage but you'll be able to see uh, on the replay look at this pinpoint pass that was good stuff right there and that's, that's good because obviously we're winning him out we're going to need Kim to step it up and uh, he did so in the first half there with a goal and an assist so uh, now we're just going to uh, you know hopefully hang on for this one and, and move into the second half and now uh, you know normally what I do here in the second half is when I bring in Kone I'll take Jones out uh, Maynard's doing pretty well so we will put Kone in there and then uh, I was thinking I was going to bring in uh, Dolly but I put in Pilkington on the right side instead so uh, we will move him in there and hopefully we can get something going with him uh, but for right now, uh, we'll see what we can do going into the second half. We do still have 2-0 advantage, and uh, that lasted until the 73rd minute, and we give up a goal. So, not really good defense right there, but we still have a one-goal advantage, and then we'll take that uh, into the 90th minute, obviously, and hang on. So, hang in, guys. Next episode, we're going to be signing a striker. It's just a matter of which one. So again, I will talk to you guys next time. Have a good one.